I'm pregnant and guess what? I still work out and I'm still alive and I still feel great and Anthony is here to teach you the proper ways of working out while being pregnant. There are a lot of benefits training while pregnant. First, strong muscles usually equal an easier delivery. Also, training while pregnant reduces back pain, reduces headaches, increases blood flow to the extremities, which is a common problem, also increases overall functionality and a sense of well-being, but most importantly, maintaining muscle mass throughout your pregnancy will help you bounce back after you give birth. Let's go over some precautions. First, heart rate. Notice Nicole has her heart rate monitor on. Rule of thumb, do not let your heart rate exceed 140 beats per minute for longer than a 60 second time period. Also, don't do any exercises on your stomach or any exercises that cause pressure into the abdomen. Don't do any exercises on your back. This can actually decrease blood flow. Don't exercise in hot, humid environments because we want to keep our body temperature in a normal range. Also, stay highly hydrated before, during, and after your workouts. When it comes to picking a weight for your exercise, Make sure you choose a weight that you can easily execute 15 reps without struggle. If you're in doubt, go lighter. And last but not least, always make sure to consult your physician on anything you do. For this workout, we're gonna do a full body movement with concentration in chest. So Nicole's gonna get down on, on all, all fours. fours. <laughs> okay. For... She's gonna do reverse leg lifts. Okay, she's gonna come all the way up and she's gonna do five pulses. Four, three, two, one, down. She's gonna switch legs. Five, four, three, two, down. And then she's gonna go into push up position, do two push ups. One, two, then back to the leg lifts. Now, she's activating muscles in her lower body, her glutes, hamstrings, everything. And, and this then, is safe for the baby? which is safe for the baby. And then she's going to go into push-ups, which is gonna activate all the muscles in her upper body. Hence, full body movement. Good, for 30 seconds, she's gonna do this. After 30 seconds is up, obviously always maintaining and checking heart rate and seeing how you feel. And now we're gonna to move to an isolation with the chest, the seated chest press. Now you wanna do this when you're pregnant, especially because you don't wanna be laying on your back. Every time everyone else bench presses, baby. they're on their back. This, she's seated up in a comfortable position and there's no circulation issues. Okay, so Nicole is going to press straight out. Okay, slow negative, fast positive, just like that. She's activating her chest, her deltoids, her triceps. And during the process, see, it's, imp it's important to do chest because we need an overall balance in the body. The big problem with pregnancy is people become unbalanced and uncoordinated. You have to keep all the muscles active. We did back before, now we're doing chest. We're gonna do 15 reps, and good. And when she's done, she's gonna get a full recovery, a minimum of 60 seconds rest, then she's gonna check her heart rate. If it's below 100, then she can start again. She can do five to 10 rounds of this, and then when she's done, we're gonna go hit our cardio. Go ahead, Nicole, start the treadmill. I'm a big advocate in doing intervals, but, not telling you exactly how fast to go or telling you how long to train. It's more so about your heart rate. Now remember, we don't want to go over that 140 beats per minute, so that's going to be our top range, and our lower range is going to be about 120. So, for people that are beginners or most people pregnant, should be doing a nice gentle walk that's comfortable. Now to increase the heart rate up to that higher range at 140 beats per minute, you can up the incline. Heart rate hits 140, we're gonna walk it down to 120, and then vice versa, and we're gonna do that for 20 to 30 minutes consistently. See, and then people that are in very good shape that have been running before they got pregnant can do a little more. Well, I hope you guys had some fun. We're done with our workout. Yay! And trust me, ladies, from experiencing pregnancy, not working out and working out, I totally recommend you to work out. I feel so much better about myself. 
Um, I'm more positive and I don't feel like a whale most of the time. And she looks great. So until next time, 